Hey, it's Rob Jackson with Fandroid.com. We're here at the Fujitsu booth at Mobile World Congress 2012, and we're here with a phone that doesn't have a name because it's a prototype, but it's awesome because it's got a 13.1 megapixel camera on the back here. Um, it's got a lot of cool features, too. You can see it the, right below it. This is a fingerprint scanner. Um, not working on the device, but the 13.1 megapixel camera with the flash is indeed working. We actually um, we can show you taking a picture really, uh, really quick, and we've got a couple samples that we sent to ourselves so let's just take a picture and the pictures are going to be huge and actually probably big enough where you could print them in a poster um, because 13.1 uh, 13.1 megapixels is pretty darn pretty darn large um, you can see the video wasn't working when we tried to record video had these little green dots and it just kind of got stuck but that's why it is indeed a prototype another cool thing this is running Android 4.0 uh, which is ice cream sandwich, the latest version of Android, and it's a quad core processor, uh, NVIDIA's quad core processor. The screen is 4.6 inches, it's HD quality LCD screen. Uh, looks big and, and really bold and beautiful. Um, if we go to the settings, actually, I'm wondering what the pixel resolution on this is. Um, haven't quite seen it anywhere, but would be curious to know that. If we take a look around, there's also a front-facing camera, and you can see light sensors and uh, looks like LED status indicator lights, although they are uh, they don't have a spec sheet on this, so not exactly sure how many megapixels are on that front camera. There's kind of a dual hinge door here, which is interesting. I haven't seen on another phone before. In one of them, you've got the micro SD slot, and behind the other one, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, which has a little weird kind of opening right next to it. Uh, wondering what that is, but again, prototype, so we don't really know um, all the full details. On the left side here, we've got the power button and the volume rocker. Uh, nothing on the bottom. And the right side, we've just got a little um, rope thing to, to hold your phone conveniently. Um, already showed you the top and the back. Um, so that's about it. We don't know too much about this device, but obviously having a dual core or having a quad core processor, Android 4.0, and a 13.1 megapixel camera is pretty awesome. So we're hoping to see this um, in the States. I think they said it's going to come out in Japan, but no announcements besides that. So the lucky Japanese market will get to see this uh, with a to be named uh, name. Let's actually see what the name is in the system settings. Let's go to About Phone, and it's the F12 Arc, at least that's what the model number is in the Android settings. Um, and you can see there, Android version 4.0.3. So uh, yeah, pretty interesting and exciting phone. I'm excited for cameras to get more powerful. We've seen a lot of that this year already, and expecting that trend to continue. So the, uh, the pretty powerful looking Fujitsu F12 Arc from Mobile